In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to look at how to move multiple instances of an object across your screen. In the following clip that you're going to look at, I'd like to have you pay attention to the Aviation News object. And then we'll talk about how we accomplish this task using the technique you're about to see. Video editors may assume that the way to do this is to take this object and put it in your media room and then simply move it with keyframes. And certainly you can do it that way. But I'd like to show you an easier way to do it if you want this object on the screen multiple times. You don't have to take a track and copy it over and over in the course of a longer video we're going to use the particle designer to accomplish this. So in order to do that, the first thing I want to do is click on my particle room. And then we're going to click at the very top in the square box with a plus called create new particle. Now this will allow us to create one. It wants a name for the particle. I've got the location here. I'm going to click my news bar. And now I find that when I have my add delete particles, the news bar is my new particle. You can take any object on your entire file system and make a particle of it if it's a still image of any kind. Now the default is to have the emit method go down. If I click on the emit method, it's a point. I'm going to change that. I'm going to take the emit method and make it go right. Then I'm going to close this down so it's a single line. Now we're going to modify many of our parameters here when it comes to particle. I'll click on Modify Parameters and that will help me change many of these things. We have a maximum count. I want to make the maximum count. Let's use these, the up and down arrow. I'm just going to make it three. And we'll, we'll see what the life comes into here. And uh, then we'll do life variation. I don't want any variation on the life. I don't want uh, any variation on the size or the speed. Uh, I don't want any wave amplification. And we'll turn all these, most of these to zero. Wave frequency there. And no rotation. So what we're doing is we're taking away a lot of the variance because I want these to basically come through in terms of one object moving left to right at a certain certain place in my production. We're going to change the size and make it bigger so we can see it. And if we go ahead and simply play it right now, we find that we have three of them that are very close together. Now the, in order to change that, we're going to have to change the count and the emit rate. If I change the emit rate from 100, and make it a little larger. We'll go in the 800s. And now I play it. Now I'll have one after another after another. That's still too often in my clip. So we're going to enlarge it a little bit more. And sometimes you have to guess these numbers are not exactly precise. They don't tell me a lot except they're four digit numbers. Uh, and so I can go this way, and now I have it moving across the screen once. And it still does, doesn't uh, stay long enough, so I'm going to change the emit, the, uh, emit rate again. And so you have to experiment a little bit. I'm going to move this down. Okay, and now it's pretty much, it, look, it looks like it's one item that goes in and fades. There's another option you can change. Way at the bottom, the default is to have your fade in and fade out turned on. I'm going to turn those off. And we'll try one more time here. We'll play. And we have our breaking news coming in once and then twice. 
and I want to make sure it comes in at the same layer every single time. So that's my variation. So I'll click on OK and we'll give this a name. I'll just call this News Slider. And now it comes across the screen. So I'll take my particle called News Slider. I'll drag it down to track number three. And now I see it in my track. I'm going to go back into it by double clicking. And now I see it on the background. So now I can take and I can move it up and down. I can also go back into the size and I'm going to increase it, make it a little bigger. Then I can readjust where it starts. If I want it to ride right on top of the red, I can do it that way. And we'll hit the preview here and see what it looks like. And there I have it moving across. I, want the, I can change the duration. I want it a little longer again. And so we'll click on the, the option for life. I think I'll make the life a little bit longer and see how that works. Okay, so it stays on the screen longer and not quite long enough yet. I want it a little longer before the next one comes in. So we're going to go ahead and modify it again, make it a little bit longer for life. And the emit rate, we're going to make it a little bit less, a little higher, so it's they're farther apart. We'll play it this time. It may take a little bit of adjustment, but it sure beats trying to keyframe multiple copies of the same object across the screen. And so that's not too bad. So we'll stop that there. We'll click on OK. And I'm going to go ahead and make this longer. Uh, to match the length of uh, the rest of my clip. And let me go ahead and play the movie. We have all our other features working. Oop, we'll go back to the beginning. All our other features working. And then we have our news coming across repeatedly without multiple images and multiple attempts to keyframe or copy. And so it's an interesting way to use a particle to accomplish this effect in CyberLink PowerDirector.